the best shower of my entire life. Literally the best shower of my entire life. Girl. kings and queens it's your girl kayla derice if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning what's good no. so listen i tried dr broner's browner's whatever i think it's called brown broner's broner's i don't know anyway i tried i tried dr broner's pure castile soap right game Changer. Do you hear me? Game changer, right? So before all of this, I have like super duper uber sensitive skin, right? And I can only use like certain stuff. Either it has to be like all natural or I have to use something that is like made for sensitive skin. So I would stick with like Dove soap, um, just like the original whatever, white bar or whatever. Y'all, I'm never going back. So I've been hearing like the hype about, I don't know if you can see it. Focus in a little bit. So I've been hearing all the hype about the Dr. Broner's soap and it comes in like a liquid form, but then they also have the bars that you can purchase as well. And I've been hearing about it for quite some time. And I heard people say, you know, they felt so clean when they used this soap. Also, they were like, my skin felt so smooth. And um, they just liked that. They liked how they felt after they used the soap. And for a while, I've been saying, you know, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. But I never got around to doing it. So this week, I've been saying, you know, I'm going to try it out and see, you know, what happens. You know, because I know that it's made... For people like me specifically because it is an all-natural product um, at least I believe so we gonna read the ingredients again but um, it like prides itself on being a natural and organic product so anyway I said I wanted to try this out so yesterday yeah yesterday I was in Meyer and um, I was like, well, let me look to see if they have it. I know that they have it in stores like Walmart and I think Target. But I was in Meijer yesterday, so I was like, let me try it out and see. Or at least go check to see if they have it in the beauty section. So I went to see and I noticed that they had this one, which is the one I got. And this one is the um, tea tree. It's the liquid, but it is the tea tree soap. And it is the 18 and 1. 18. 18 in one. What so when has Dove ever been an 18 in one? I'll wait. Right. So anyway, 18 in one. This one is the tea tree. And they have other scents. So they have like I know an almond oil one. They have a lavender, a peppermint, which is what I got in the bar because I really wanted the peppermint liquid, but they didn't have the peppermint liquid um, at Meyer yesterday. They were all out, but they had the other scent. So I might actually still go back another day or find it somewhere else and get the peppermint. And I want to try the lavender as well eventually. But for now, I did end up getting the peppermint bar, bar soap. And it's made with the same things that the liquid is made with, except each different um, scent obviously just has like an, a, a different essential oil. So the one I bought is tea tree and I wanted it specifically because I know that tea tree does wonders for your skin. I already use that on, I use it on my skin normally, um, especially on my face. And I knew I was going to be using this all over my body and on my face. So I figured why not get the one with tea tree. So a few benefits of the soap. This 18 and 1. 18. Again, 18 and 1. All right. So a few benefits of this soap is that it is made with organic oils and is certified fair trade. It also uses... Um, 
recycled plastic bottles. Oh, the liquid is two to three times more concentrated than any other like body wash or liquid soap. Um, that's why on, on this bottle it says specifically somewhere, it's a lot of words, I'm gonna be honest, the words on this bottle kind of stress me out because there's so much going on. But it says on here to dilute it. It says, oh yeah, right here. Dilute, dilute, dilute. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, dilute, dilute, dilute. Okay. But it's saying that a little goes a long way. Um, it says one small squirt applied to wet hands or a washcloth to wash your face, hands, and body. Um... Which is why, even though I've already used this, it looks like I didn't really use a lot. It's like right here. Um, because it does go a long way and you do have to dilute it. I used it in the shower. And when I tell y'all, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The best shower of my entire life. Literally the best shower of my entire life. Girl. Or God. Y'all listen. Get some of this. Stop using that dove soap. Cause when I tell y'all, I called my sister after and I was like, listen, we throwing out all the dove tomorrow. Ain't nobody in the family ever using dove again. Everybody's going to get a bottle. And no, I can't share. I can't even put a little bit in the um Squirt tube, but nothing for you. I don't have nothing for you, but I can tell you where to go get it. I can show you where to go pick it up. I can show you where to go get your little bar if you want the bar instead of the liquid. But we cannot share this, honey, because this had me so squeaky clean, y'all. I literally, hold up. I literally stayed in the shower and was like, oh my gosh. I'm so squeaky. I was so squeaky clean. I've never felt like that in my entire life. Not to say I ain't been clean before, cause listen, honey, I get clean, okay? But this had me feeling like a brand new person. I'm not playing y'all. And I know the fact that it has tea tree. I was like, I just feel like, I just feel like I'm just using such good oils on my body. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. I'm all over the place. Anyway. So the oils that's in this are, or the ingredients in general, are water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, tea tree extract, extract, organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, citric acid, and tocopherol. Toco, we about to look that up. Cause what what is to? T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L. Y'all, what is it? Cause listen, don't play with me. We're about to figure out what that is, cause I don't have time. All right, so it says, tocopherol is a fat soluble vitamin, fat soluble vitamin from a class of organic compounds, many of which are known to have vitamin E activity. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. So I guess it's related to vitamin E. The vitamin E in the vitamin E family, but it's not vitamin E. I don't know. I'm going to have to do more research on that exact ingredient. But look, y'all. Okay, so pros of this. It has, it's organically made. It goes a long way. Yes, it's kind of pricey depending on where you purchase it. I bought it from Meyer for about $13.99, but I know that some stores you can catch it on sale. I've seen people buy it from like Marshalls or Ross or something like that. And sometimes they can get it for as cheap as like seven bucks for this um, 32 fluid ounces um, bottle. But it goes a long way. Cause again, you have to dilute it and it will stretch however if you use i will say if you use it for all 18 purposes because like i said it's 18 and one so on here it says you can use it for 
your hands, your face, your body, for laundry, to mop the floor, to wash your dog as an all-purpose cleaner, um, to remove residue off of fruits and veggies. I might have to try that one. I wouldn't use the tea tree one for that. That's kind of weird to me. Um, to shave, it says you can use it to shave. Um, you can use it to, if you dilute it enough, and it gives you like the measurements for how much you need to dilute it for certain stuff, which it says that you can spray your plants for bugs. Oh, this is kind of dope, actually. You can add it to your dishwashing liquid. It's just so many things that you can use this for. So I, I would say if you're going to use this for all 18 purposes, you might go through it pretty fast. But my sole purpose will probably just be for like my hands, my face, and my body for the most part. I don't think, I don't really see me using it too much, if at all, for any of the other reasons. So it'll probably last me quite a while. Um, again, like I said, I got this one for $13.99 at Meyer, but I also bought the bar of the peppermint because I heard the peppermint is what gets you together. But they didn't have it in the liquid, they were out. So I got the peppermint bar, and I can't wait to try this one. I know it's gonna change my life. I'm, I'm trying to save it. Like I wanna use the tea tree one, kinda use the tea tree one for a while and then use the peppermint one. But I don't know, if I'm just feeling like I need a little razzle dazzle, I might just, I don't know, I might open the peppermint. Open the peppermint one up real fast. So apparently this is like a family business. It's been open since 1858. Um, it's 100% vegan. Which, if you didn't know, your girl is now. <laughs> only, at this point, only a few weeks in, but we're getting somewhere. Okay, so on the bar it says, 100% vegan bars and liquid soaps available in peppermint, lavender, rose, eucalyptus, almond, tea tree, baby unscented, and citrus. So those are all the different scents that they have in the liquids and the bars. So if you're not a tea tree person, you might be a peppermint person, but if you're neither, you might be a lavender or a rose or a citrus or unscented or an almond or a eucalypt. That eucalyptus might be the one though. I don't know y'all. If y'all if y'all feeling like y'all just wanna purchase something for me, just buy one of the bottles. I would gladly upset, accept, cause listen, I am a believer now. Now I understand what all the hype was about. At first I was like, why is everybody going crazy over these soaps? I see it. Y'all, that was the best shower of my life. Oh my gosh. Comment below if you've ever used this um, brand of soap and what your experience was. Cause listen, I know it was good. Y'all ain't gotta tell me. Y'all don't even gotta tell me. I know it was good. I don't feel like, you know, listen, I know it was good. I know it was good. Comment below if you've ever used Dr. Broner's, Broner's, y'all tell me how to say this. Is it Broner's? Broner's? Broner's! It might be Broner's, for real, hold on. Broner's. It looks like Bron, don't it? Like LeBron? Dr. Bronner's. I'm gonna go with Bronner's. Comment below if you've ever used Dr. Bronner's soap and what your experience was, which scent you liked the most. Tell me how it made you feel, because if it made you feel good on the inside like it made me feel, I wanna know. Like, Also, tell me if you have a suggestion for which liquid soap I should try next, because I think it should be the peppermint, and I haven't even opened this one yet. So let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so, and the notification bell. Um, that way you don't miss any of my uploads in the Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. And I will see you for the next Feel Good Friday. Bye.